This is worth $225. And this is worth around $10,000 when purchased new from a qualified and trustworthy seller. And yes, they are both natural jadeite jade. That is going to be very close to the value that an appraiser would provide for the insurance company, barring any change in value or condition between the date of purchase and the date of appraising. The resale value on the secondhand market is, of course, different. Now, this is worth almost nothing because it is what we call B-Jade, which we'll explain later in this video. This is worth about $20 new, so it would be hard to sell at all on the secondhand market because it's not jade at all. It's actually quartz. In this video, with the help and expertise of graduate gemologist Jeff Mason of Mason K. Jade, we're going to answer Jade I Jade value questions for the Jade Shopper, customers wanting to sell their Jade I Jade, and people who have inherited or been gifted Jade I Jade, and maybe wondering if it's worth appraising for insurance or selling. A common misconception is that if you buy jade overseas, especially in China, must be natural. No, no, much of the jade, I would say most of the jade that is sent to us that folks have purchased overseas on trips turn out to be treated jade. It's sold as natural and you have no recourse because it was on a trip overseas, but it turns out to be treated. Jeff's job is to test and value Jade. He's been a leading expert on Jade in the United States for decades, and I am so excited to collaborate with him on this video. Please take advantage of the timestamps in the video description, or stick around for the whole video. To learn about how Jade value is determined via the qualities of Jade, particularly the famous Imperial Jade in the range of prices Jade can be, the different types of Jade, and the prevalence of B-Jade and why testing Jade is necessary, to be able to value it. As always, work with a jewelry store or appraiser that you trust and make sure that you clearly understand your insurance policy. Recommendations on how to find an appraiser are in the video description. And just to clarify as we're proceeding forward with this video, an appraisal is a written document from an appraiser. An appraisal is not a verbal estimate from a salesperson at a jewelry store. Additionally, it's important to note that insurance appraisals do not reflect resale value. An important factor to consider regarding a appraisal is that appraisals are always done at retail replacement value. What one would expect to have to pay for a similar item at retail. Whereas a resale value is what somebody would expect to be able to obtain from a buyer from the trade for their item or a similar item. And there's quite a bit of a difference between the two. Pricing of Jade based on quality factors. The quality factors are color. Color is most important. Color is king, as people say. Translucence would be next, which kind of ties in with texture. And next would be evenness. Evenness relates to the distribution of color and also relates to clarity. So the evenness and clarity are kind of together as are translucency and texture. And last really would be cut. Cut is last because jade is cut in all different ways. And yes, there are better cuts and lesser cuts, but it's the least important of the factors. Well, jadeite, even in its natural form, of course, there's a lot of treated material out there, but even in its natural form, natural type A, price ranges are huge. Price ranges can be from under $100 a piece for the commercial quality material to well into six figures and even in some cases seven figures rare cases but that has happened in some of the finer auctions we've all seen for apple green apple green is is medium to better quality so a decent apple green piece of course we're talking about natural jadeite probably on the low end depending on the piece obviously some pieces are very small but given a, a medium size average piece you shouldn't see that for less than a few hundred dollars. And on the upper end could be, again, quite high. A nice apple green stone with translucency can be a few thousand. What is Imperial Jade? Imperial Jade is the word used for the very finest material. It's often used well too loosely. People use Imperial Jade without understanding that it refers to the very finest and they use it to refer to green jade or they use it to refer to somewhat better green jade, but really it is the finest 
material in green jadeite. Would have to be very saturated green in the correct hue, and it should be very translucent and very uh, pure, very evenly translucent. That renders a jade stone imperial. Value in imperial jade is at the very top of the value of jade, of course, and even for a small piece, uh, a jade piece in imperial quality can bring a high price. So if you see a piece that is being offered for a few hundred dollars in a decent sized piece, you know it's not imperial jade or it's fake. If it looks like imperial jade and it's being offered at that price, it's probably either not jade or treated jade. Sometimes people ask me, why is jade expensive? And it's certainly not always. There is lots of affordable jade on the market, but the reason that some jade is very valuable is because of its high demand and limited supply, especially the limited supply of quality jade of good, even color. The jade industry in China is worth more than $30 billion, just to give you an idea of demand. And this is a stone that is beloved all over the world, not just China. Additionally, natural jadeite jade is very rare geologically. There are probably around 50 diamond mines in the world. And diamonds, despite what the internet wants you to believe, are rare. There are less than 20 jadeite jade deposits being mined in the entire world, but, only three are producing any notable quantity in a quality that is acceptable for jewelry. And honestly, most of the jadeite jade that you see in jewelry stores, whether in China, Canada, or the United States, came from Myanmar or Burma. Testing is necessary for value. Jade is a trade term that can refer to two distinct gemstones, gemologically speaking, in the USA, nephrite jade and jadeite jade. In the jadeite jade category, it's important to know whether your jade is natural, meaning untreated, or treated. An appraiser cannot give you a value without knowing which jade your stone is and whether or not it's treated. And with that in mind, you shouldn't sell a piece of jade unless you know what type of jade it is or whether it's natural or treated. There is a lot of confusion between the jades. They are properly called jade. There's a lot of material that is called jade that isn't properly jade of either kind, Chrysoprase, for example, is called Australian jade. There are many others I won't get into. Well, jadeite is the more valuable of the two, with one exception, and that exception is white. Uh, one of the reasons jadeite is more valuable, besides it being more attractive, is that it's far more rare. There's a lot less of it. It comes from mainly one source, and so the supply being what it is and the demand being far higher yields a much higher price for jadeite, whereas nephrite comes from many, many, many different places in the world and is not as in high demand. Natural jadeite jade is material that's had nothing done to it other than the standard polishing with a very light coat of beeswax when it's originally cut. Treated jade refers to two different types of treatments. So the word treated isn't so clear in that it doesn't define which treatment, but it means that it's been treated. And the two types of treatments are dye, which has been around for a century or more, and something that's a lot new, or maybe 45 years old, is impregnation. Age aid is worth what it's worth, depending on its quality, size, color, and so on. B jade is figured to be worth about 5%, maybe as much as 10%, the value of its natural counterpart, what it would be worth if it was natural. C jade, or B plus C, if it's got any dye in it, is figured to be worth the least expensive amount that that particular piece could be. So in many cases, it's five or 10 or $20. Uh, whereas B jade can be worth a few hundred uh, compared to the many thousands that its natural counterpart may have been worth. You can visit your local independent jeweler for help with identifying your jade. If it's determined that your jade is jadeite jade and needs to be checked for treatment, you can send it to Mason K Jade in Colorado. I'm including a link to their website below. If you'd like to learn more, please like and subscribe. And if you're shopping for jade, be sure to sign up for Mason K Jade's newsletter. I'm gonna include a link in the description.